Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Speed here, and today we're playing Alchemist. This was the hero that you all requested. You said to go God Farming mode, and that's what we're going to be doing. Honestly, this is one of those heroes that, like, in my opinion, if you know what you're doing, you're going to win, like, 80 to 90% of your games if you're below the 5k mark wreck. And maybe, like, I'm over-exaggerating that, because people struggle with ending games, they struggle with going high ground, and Alk naturally isn't a hero that, like, dominates the late game. But all in all, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to just play a straightforward game of Alk. How do you not overcomplicate the process? Because what happens with a lot of Alk players is what happens to most greedy players. And I actually have a P on my team, which is pretty mediocre with Alk. But what happens with a lot of players is they fall into this trap where they're like, oh, I'm playing Alk and my team is dying and I need to help them. And, and then you feed because you haven't hit your item timing yet. You haven't hit your power spike. And it's a big mistake that a lot of people make. But this looks like a pretty good Alk game. It's a great Manta game. I can Manta Orchid, Silencer spells, even Venge stun. Skyrise spells, Wraith King spells, so yeah, um, by the way guys, I forgot to mention, guys, I always rant in these, the, the intro of these videos, but this is a series where I'm getting the 4k, I actually lost my last game, funny enough, but I'm currently at 3,400 MMR, we need 600 more MMR to get to 4k MMR, and, uh, yeah, you guys tell me what I play in the comments, so yeah, last time you guys voted on Alchemist, this time who knows what's next, who knows? There's so many builds to try out in this patch, so many heroes to learn from, so I'm excited to keep this video series going. And uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. So, first things first, you want to get a Game Leap sub. It's currently uh, $50 off the lifetime sub. Can you believe it, guys? So go sign up down below. It really helps support us. We create content here every day on YouTube. You might have noticed that uh, I've been creating more than one video a day. Part of it's because it's to patch, so I know there's a lot of demand for the content. But I also want to help you guys learn the game of Dota and keep up with the menace. So yeah, if you could sign up for Game Leap, I would appreciate it. And let's get into the video. All right, I should level my uh, Grievous Greed. And I will also contest this rune. Usually I won't contest runes as the mid, but as Alchemist, I get an extra 20 gold. Wow. Uh oh, I'm actually getting here late. Uh, okay, there's no one here. <laughs> oh, three runes. Nice. All right, we're popping off already. So the build I'm going to go this game, I'm probably going to go two bracers or one bracer treads into Radiance. Just gonna keep it simple. I could go the Battle Fury build, but I'm a big fan of like going um, Manta Shiva's this game, like going like a, a magical damage build. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm feeling it. Whoa, there's two people mid. All right, you share in tangos. <laughs> I was like, what is that guy doing? So yeah, it's it totally fine to like, okay, he actually denied me. In this matchup, it's, it's honestly not, not a bad matchup. This matchup's pretty easy. Only because like Storm kind of shoves the wave naturally. So like, actually, I, I should be hitting him right now. I don't know why I'm not hitting him. But he's, he shoves the wave naturally, which kind of just means that you're going to get farm at some point. Got to prep this. Nice. And once you hit level 2, it's very easy for you to, like, kind of push the storm off of you. So he can put a little bit of aggression at level 1. But after that, you're kind of chilling. And in terms of items, I'll ship out two sets of regen. Honestly, that's actually probably a bit too much, but... Alright, we're doing well now. Hey, this guy is going ham. He's about to tank the tower. Okay, no, he didn't. But yeah, the, the, as I said, this matchup is very, very straightforward. You kind of just acid spray. You're both playing for efficiency for the most part. Storm can try to pressure you. Okay. Storm can try to pressure you, but honestly, like, it, it's very difficult for him to kill you. At level three, he does hit a bit of a spike. So right now, I do want to be a little bit careful. I'll pull aggro here. Aggro is very crucial in this matchup because if you don't pull... This guy's a psycho. He even just prepped that creep for me. I'll take my Q. And now what I want to do here is... I was actually thinking about sniping his courier there. Well, I'm CSing like a absolute noob right now. But yeah, you can trade inside of the acid. So sometimes they'll man up inside of acid. As long as you buy enough regen, you can no problem man up in it. Wow, I am... I am okay. We gotta focus up, boys. We are... We are really not doing what we need to do right now. The biggest mistake I'm, I'm making is I'm not really focusing on, on killing the range creep right now. But with this wave... I will learn from my mistakes and I will creep aggro and then acid the range creep. So this is what I mean. I'll creep aggro, I'll kill this one as fast as possible, then I'll run to the range creep and I'll get it denied. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll separate the creeps, so this is still fine. I'm actually going to take out my ward. I could probably put it down here. Just got to hide it a little bit. So yeah, we'll pick up our bottle, then we'll pick up the treads. We could also pick up, like, raindrops. Obviously, raindrops are pretty good against Storm as well. I'm actually going to hit this guy here. He's... Is... 
My man's just vibing in the acid. He's missing creeps under tower. Psycho. The acid actually does so much damage, it's insane. Like, you actually don't expect it to do as much damage as, as, as it does. Every single time. Like, it's actually killing the creeps so quickly. But yeah, I'm probably going to pick up raindrops just for the casual mana regen. I even think, like, casual sages mask is not bad. The falcon blade is also okay on L. But the thing is, you don't want to buy too many small items. Because all in all, it just delays your timings. Like, the more small items you buy on elk, the more you sort of just delay your timings. It's really not worth it for the most part. So, we won't be doing that with this creep. I think this camp stacks at 34, right? Come on, give me the rune. Yes! Nice, so now we got a stack here. Looks like Storm is actually contesting my stack. I actually can't tell. Want to get the hands, bro? Okay, we'll pick up our boots. And I'm actually going to take the next point in greed. I know this seems stupid, but... With the five minute bounties coming up, it increases the rune multiplier, so I get a bit more gold. Push this in, and we're close to our level six. And then obviously once we hit level six, this matchup is quite, quite easy. I mean, it's already easy, obviously. My laptop just like crashed, what in the world? Get the runes, get the runes. We're not getting any runes! We have an elk and we haven't picked up a rune. Okay. I'll get, I'll get one of the runes. Alright, whenever you're farming camps, make sure you don't just like, hit one creep to death. Obviously you want to spread it out so that the acid spray largely finishes it up. What is going on? Look at how buggy this is! <laughs> Also, when you hit level 6, you can actually bully people a little bit. I don't think people do this enough as Elk. Like, literally, when you hit 6, don't be afraid to just harass people a bit. Alright, now we're just we're completely focused on CS at this point. And not letting our courier die. Alright, he got the he got the rune. Doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna rush up the radiance now. I'll have to pick up a clarity here and there, so I'll pick up like three clarities. That should be enough to carry me to my, my Radiance timing. And, uh, yeah. We'll be vibing from there. Storm might be going top. I'll call out the Storm might be going top. And now I really want to push in this wave and go for a double step. Oh, he came bottom. Okay, he TP'd. <laughs> the Centaur said, it's not really my fault, but he's still mad. Yeah, I mean. Not much I can do about a Storm teleportation device. Alright, and now how Acid Spray works is it instantly does damage, so in the past you'd have to put down the Acid Spray early to stack, but now you don't have to do that. So I can put this down very late here. Pop my Clarity. Oh wow, I already had a stack. That's nice. So I'm not- actually, I'll try to take the stack now. My Acid Spray is sort of going to run out, so it's not like the best time to do this. Am I going to get run at by this Fenge? I think she's warding my hill. Yeah, she was trying to. I'm gonna buy a sentry just in case you actually did word that hill. I need to make sure that's not worded. You know, like if that's worded and they can test me when I'm taking my stacks, that could be really bad for me, so. I'll send out the sentry and then I'll look to take the stacks. Oh, Storm actually might be going there now. Alright, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to make sure that isn't the case. Let's take out our sentry. Oh yeah, they are. They're contesting my stacks. Ugh, God. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> Give me your gold. Alright, well, they got one of my- Dude, what is wrong with this guy? Come kill this guy. He's out of mana! He's gonna die to me! Oh my- This is so not worth it. Give me the kill. <laughs> That's a question mark for sure. Like, are you serious? My man kills himself to contest a stack, like, I'm all for shutting down Alk, right? But that is not worth it. Like, that's what people do against Alk that ruins their games. Like, it's good for him to contest the first stack, right? Like, that's a fine play, I'm not- That's not a problem, but then he, like, literally kills himself to contest the stack. Like, that's not a play. 
Okay, so this one we can hit early. Get a little double stack going here. And yeah, when you get this efficiency down as Elk, your hero just like farms at ridiculous speeds. So I lose a bit of creeps to the tower here. Usually um, at a high level, like what, what teams do... Oh, nice. Uh, what teams do with Elk is they'll actually give um, one of the supports mid and then he'll just jungle. And by defending the mid tower, you naturally protect out. <laughs> this guy is such a joker. <laughs> He's jungling my camps, bruh. Look at this guy. My ulti is actually running out. I'm gonna acid this. I might need to TP mid. Oh shoot. Why did I do that? I, I mean, I knew they were gonna go on me. Alright, Avenge might die, but... That's not worth it for me. Uh, okay, that was stupid. Nice, we're getting runes this time. Ooh, four! Nice, team! Let's go, team! <laughs> Let's go, team. I also got to take my Ancient Stack after this, so I'll push in this wave. I'll push in this wave ASAP with my Acid, then I'll kill the small camp because my Acid will be on cooldown. And then we will take the Ancients. The thing is, like, I guess they're sort of shutting down my farm, you know, like a little bit by camping me. But at the same time, I, like, look at their side lanes. They're getting clapped. Right, like this Venge is making Wraith King solo against Tree and Centaur to shut me down, which is, I mean, I get the idea, but it just is so risky to do that because now your Wraith King is going to be tilted out of his mind, right? He's going to be so mad. And sure, you shut me down for a little bit, but at some point, my side lanes are going to create so much pressure that you're not even going to be able to pressure me. So that's why it's like kind of not worth it to do what they're doing, you know? Hope that makes sense. It's actually pretty hard to take, but we'll kill it eventually. Almost got our radiance at 11 minutes here, and that's that's including a death. And and I played the early waves pretty poorly, so this is uh, I would say this is going well for sure. They see me. I feel like this is worded. I don't know. Yeah. So you see, how th it's good. Yeah. I don't want to force a fight. I'll force a fight if my um my team's actually coming. The storm's kind of low on mana. I'll charge a bottle, no problem. All right, I'm silenced. I can maybe still stun him though. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll take my kill and now we'll just get out. I can maybe protect this guy. Alright. That went extremely well! No, don't farm that. Bruh! I'm an elk! No! Why would you do that? What? <laughs> Why would he take a small camp from me? Alright, whatever. It is what it is. So now Radiance actually works on Ancients, which is pretty cool. And, uh, it's really nice, actually, how, how it works like this now. And we'll be going for Manta. I do want a Wand, I think, just so I can fight early here. Like, they have so many spells. I feel like Wand is, is nice. Maybe it's just a waste of time at this point to buy Wand. Oh, skeletons. Give me your skeletons. Yes. I'm also going to buy a Smoke and a Ward here. Then we'll pick up Manta. Then I'm probably going to go Octarine, <laughs> which is, it kind of feels weird. It kind of feels weird to go Octarine now that it has like an Aether Lens built in, but I still think it's okay. Oh, I, you know what item I could go? I could go the Shroud item. That sounds kind of cool. Maybe I'll try that out. Now, I don't, I'm not too comfortable pushing this in here, but my team is sort of fighting. So like, it shouldn't be too bad. I'll pop my ulti, go Strength Treads. Should be all right. Oh, the Skeleton Gold. <laughs> this, oh my God, this is so much gold. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna go put this ward on this high ground here. Usually they don't expect the the uh the old Alk ward. I have no ulti, I, I can't make this play. Centaur, can you ulti? Ulti. <laughs> okay, I'm a He really didn't want to ulti. He was like, he's like, hmm, I don't know if I should save my Alk. I messed up there. That was just a bad play. You could kind of tell by the way the Skywrath was moving that he saw me or like something. But now I also kind of gave up my ward, so that was just a bad play. Straight up. That was just that was just a mistake. But that's fine. We'll free up this part of the map. I don't know why my centaur is taking ancients right now. Like, this is mad questionable for him to jungle that, but it is what it is. Is this camp blocked? No. Okay. Yeah, this is what I mean though. I guess I'll go stack the ancients and take them. Can we get the top runes? 
So you actually need to turn off your Radiance now when you're walking past the Ancient Camp, otherwise it won't stack. Oh, I should have contested this rune. I think I still can, actually. I'll charge up my bottle now. The vent should be here. Ooh, the perfect play! Wow! Look at that, guys. Come on. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, God. Don't pick up the road. At this point, I'm getting I'm getting to the point where I'm strong enough to uh, run at this Wraith King. Also, another thing you can know, I don't even consider going mid here, you know? Like, I don't want to... The worst person I can run at is this Silencer without a smoke. And it might be like, oh, but speed, like, this is a good fight for you to show up to. I First of all, I didn't know that fight was about to happen, right? Like, that was funny how that all just went down. I mean, I could actually potentially TP in here. But, um, I didn't know how that was going to go down, right? It just happened. And the thing is, I could waste time sitting mid, like, trying to read that play. Or I can just go run at this Wraith King and ruin his game, you know? Like, now this guy's ulti's gonna pop. I can maybe even kill him again. Alright. Oh god, they're actually all here. I'm gonna run at the silencer instead of trying to run away. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's clap it up for speed, guys. Whatever, I got a 16 minute Manta. So here's my excuse. That was a horrible play. I actually think if I was looking at the map, I would have seen that coming. Why did I feel like I didn't see anyone? Were they on the map, guys? You'll have to tell me. Is your map awareness better than Speed's map awareness? Because my map awareness, I don't know. It must have been off there. I swear I didn't see them. Oh, the stack. Nice. But that's the thing. Like, you can... I mean, I still do get this this guy's ulti now. I, I, I still want to run at them. Wraith King has no ulti. Uh, I still want to run at them now. Also... I think I'll go... It's a really good blink game. They have so many backliners here that I want to get on top of. So I'll definitely go blink. Take up these ancients real quick. Come, come. Look at the damage! Look at the damage! That's what we call the solo smoke play. I have no interest in waiting for my team. I know that guy's an ulti. He's so weak. Like, that guy is so weak, and I know he's so weak, so I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna wait for my team to make the play, you know, like... And that's them not understanding spikes, right? Like, I told them Wraith King has no ulti, so this- they know Wraith King has no ulti. They just use global right for me, so they have no global. I'm just going to this guy. Aha! I have a Manta! Sounds sure kind of hurts, though. Not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, this Manta is going to be extremely good this game. It's actually incredibly good. We can keep going. Oh, look at this. Come, come, come. <laughs> uh, how have they not deworded this hill? That's insane. I made that word. I thought I made that word obvious, but I don't know. I guess- I guess they don't know. <laughs> I really thought I made that obvious. <laughs> I don't know. Alright guys, well. That's good for me. Should I try the Eternal Shroud item? It's kind of cool. Go like super tanky Alk build. I don't really want to hit this tower. I have no ulti right now. Can you guys come bottom? Dude, this centaur is always across the map for me. It's insane. Oh god. <laughs> They can TP in, this is so sus. Oh, I guess we're going in, whatever, YOLO. Cutting their wave! This is extremely dangerous, but... YOLO! Also, yeah, I'm gonna go Octarine, it just- I feel like it's good here. I'm gonna back up, make sure we can get some runes. I'll, I'll farm up their jungle real quick. I do have Nolte though, so I kinda need to be careful. This is a bit sus. But whatever, we're maximum efficiency, guys. We take all the risk in the world. Storm is actually level 17, ah. He's doing much better than I than I thought. It's kind of scary. So I'll probably go Octarine into Abyssal so I can kill Storm. Even like Hex, honestly. This is huge. Give me smoke. So another thing, guys, if you're in this bracket, you need to preemptively call smokes. Like, every single game I play in this bracket, I always have to be the guy calling the smoke, and it's just annoying. Like, I mean, I don't mind it, you know, and I'm going to keep doing it, but 
These players should really just call their own smokes. Oh, I forgot I can't buy Octarine at this anymore. I have to... I guess I have a PL. You know, I kind of forgot I have a PL. <laughs> I, like, totally forgot I have a PL. I hope this hits the storm. Nah, okay. Kind of messed it up. Whatever, I'm so strong here, I I'm not really afraid of going in. Get over here! Alright. You know, the cool thing, I guess the cast range for Mokdarine is kind of useful. It's not, like, good, for sure, but it's cool. You know? <laughs> it's it's cool. I feel like the Shiva's does make sense here, though. Like, honestly, attack speed slow against Storm is, is actually underrated. People don't realize how, like, that hero doesn't... It has pretty limited attack speed. It buys treads to deal with that pro- Why is the centaur nuking my waves? Uh, it's... He has limited attack speed, so Shiva actually really hurts his ability to kill people. It's- it's- it's kind of misunderstood. Like, Storm really does have attack speed issues. Also, this Wraith King, you know, he has skeletons and all, so it's good against him as well. I actually need to be careful. I don't know what I'm doing. Can we Roche? I should really be making the safe play here, like, Roaching. Realistically, I think the safest item I could buy is BKB. This play is... Guys, here. Alright, this play is weird. I don't know, I'm going in. Don't care. I'm gonna kill this guy, I feel like he does a lot of damage. Do I chase here? It's a lot of slows. Alright. Why is this guy running back in? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Alright. Alrighty. We'll jungle it up. Looks like Storm is wasting his time trying to kill my PL. This PL is so funny. Honestly, I respect how PL's playing. He's not taking any of my jungle. Did Al get buffs this patch? Yes. <laughs> Dude, what? What's with these people? Like, it's just so funny to me. Why are they like... It's like they're like sub-flaming me, you know? They're like talking about why I'm having a good game, like why I look strong. They couldn't possibly attribute it to me being a good player, right? Feels like that's all Alk ever needs. That's actually true. When Alk gets minor buffs, this hero tends to make a comeback. That That is true. I, I, like, I don't know. Is, are they flaming me, guys? Like, what is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, why can't they just say... Why can't they say, oh, you did a good job taking safe farm and you made good decisions and you killed the Wraith King based off smokes twice. Oh, wait, no, once. Okay, you killed the Wraith King based off a ward twice. Like, why don't they... Those are the type of things that people need to look at and, like, I guess it's hard in game to like pay attention to things that other people are doing. You know what I mean? It's it's very difficult. But at the same time, like I'm 100% sure there's a ton of people who could have gotten a bunch of banners and not done well this game. You know? Oh, I'm just gonna take out a bottle at a pure chance that this guy's out of mana. <laughs> All right, GG. I feel like heart is like a fun item here. The reason why it's good is I can just frontline and then my PL will kill everybody. Because he's having a good game, so if I just run in and YOLO, he'll kill everybody. 4,000 HP. Also, they buffed the, the Ags now. Like, I can give my teammates Ags and it's legit. Like, think about giving Ags to Disruptor. It's actually so good. Skeletons! Don't kill the skeletons. Let me kill them! No! I swear people, people need to think about, like, those type of things, you know? It's actually such a big deal. It just casually gives me, like... Some insane amount of gold. Alright, I'm going. <sighs> like, I'm, I'm about to just run in. I have no qualms. <laughs> this guy's getting chain stunned. Oh! Like, this Wraith King is helpless. I feel bad for him. But yeah, that's the thing, like, when you get to this point in the game and you just hit so many creeps, like, it's kind of GG. And another thing to, to say, um, another thing to say, sorry, I need to focus. But another thing to say is that, you know, you might be like, oh, Speed, you had a good team. And yeah, I, I would say I did have a good team, right? Like, I did have a good team. My team played well this game. I'm not going to deny that. I like how my PL played. I don't really love how my Centaur played the mid game, but he clearly did well in his lane. So there's that. Yeah, I do, I do feel like maybe they could run at me a little bit more, but honestly, at the same time, their heroes aren't that good at invading the jungle. Like, they don't really have those type of heroes. They have Storm, but that's about it. And, um, yeah, I, I think a big portion of this game also comes down to the fact that 
Like, when they try to shut me down, you have to understand, guys, like, just because you shut down the Elk doesn't mean you win the game, right? There's still four other heroes. Also, if they try to shut me down, the PL is going to get farmed, and the Wraith King is going to get shut down, right? Like, I feel like that that's also another thing that you have to keep in mind when you're playing against Elk. So, I guess the question is, how do you shut down Elk? I think it's a mix of... I'm a big fan of blocking camps. That's one thing that I think is underrated against Alk. It's very difficult for Alk to deal with because like, sure, you give him quite a bit of gold, I guess, from the wording. Just use sentries, right? Don't use obs then. Whoops, I'm not going to get the stack. But definitely block his camps and then make sure make sure you're ganking the side lanes. Like, I think what Storm could have done to win this game is he could have enabled Wraith King's game because we're not necessarily going to be able to just end high ground. Uh, Alright, I'll put this in base. We're not, you know, the game doesn't just end end because I get farmed, right? I still have to go high ground, and Elk is like okay at sieging high ground. It's not necessarily insane though, and so they can shut down the rest of my team. Like Storm is really good at ganking PL early game. He could have ganked PL multiple times, and what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna TP in an acid spray, right? And so I think that's a big misunderstanding about Elk. It's always shut down the Elk, not shut down his team. And if you shut down his team, the Elk might be like a million gold ahead, but he can often run into this problem where they like they can basically commit all of their spells to kite him and because they're committing all their spells to kite the elk his team is useless and usually it's a good thing right it's like oh they used everything on me kill them guys but if there's like if this peel is like two slotted 40 minutes into the game it's not going to do anything right um so if they shut down the pl he wouldn't have been able to farm top and he, they could have kept ganking him top because i'm taking the jungle right i'm not going to just give pl the jungle right <laughs> even maybe even though maybe i should i guess but um i'm not gonna give the pl the jungle so then they could just keep killing him wherever he's farming but because they didn't shut down the pl he just could keep farming top right and it kind of goes like full circle you know I, the only reason i'm tipping in here is for the skeleton gold that's the only reason i'm not even gonna try to kill the wraith king <laughs> okay this guy really wants to kill wraith king <laughs> the gold And yet, you see what I mean? Like, even though I'm very farmed, I guess maybe I should have an Abyssal. I feel like this heart's terrible. <laughs> but like, Alk doesn't necessarily do some insane amount of damage. There are other builds that I think are less kiteable than mine, which is why this build has kind of fallen out of favor. This guy's putting on the... <laughs> uh, that's so funny. He put on the jukes, but it didn't work out. Oh, what the... But I hope that tip uh, about like shutting down the Alk makes sense. I think it's a, a cool way to look at the game. Oh, it looks like my PL has hit his timings. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, the storm is dead. What is above Storm's head? Oh, Mage Slayer. Oh, I forgot people are buying that on PL. Ooh, Rampage. Damn. GG. <laughs> GG. Shabby. All right, looks like that's going to be about all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, in the comment section down below, leave who you want me to play next. I'm not going to play Elk again, that's for sure, because this hero, I don't know, it's pretty easy. Even though, like, I died to that storm, which is stupid. I made this play over here, which is stupid. Like, this was unnecessary. Playing this part of the map as Elk is very mediocre. Like, for a lot of heroes, you want to play this part of the map because you need lane creeps to get farmed for most heroes but for elk you don't really need lane creeps you're totally fine just taking jungle right it makes sense your hero just naturally creates more gold out of the jungle creeps so yeah it, it was it was highly unnecessary for me to do that it's okay for me to run at the 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 wraith king like pop his ulti like popping his ulti was very valuable it let me kill him twice later on but the thing is i didn't have to chase him right i could have popped the ulti backed off back to my jungle right that would have been a much better play but all right i hope that shows you guys uh you know how to stomp on elk just really got to perfect the early game. And I didn't play the laning stage great. My first few waves were horrible. Like, I'm being straight up. But, like, I farm consistently. I hit my timings. And then I make plays based off those timings. And because of that, I have, like, what's my GPM? A thousand! <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right. But, all right. I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace. And we've been waiting a lifetime for this patch. Speaking of lifetime, Game Leap is currently doing a $50 off sale on their lifetime sub. So if you're looking for thousands of videos and new daily content every day, you can get a lifetime sub for 50 
dollars off right now this is a special we're doing for the new patch to celebrate so click the link down below sign up now you won't regret it it's quite a large discount so i really recommend that you guys take advantage of it and i'll see you there